Hi and welcome back to my series on how to use Microsoft Excel with NVDA or non-visual desktop access. In this video, I'm going to continue my discussion on formulas. And here I'm going to zoom in on cell reference, sum and auto sum functions. To start with, I have here, or I have opened a workbook that I've entitled my snack bar. And on sheet one, I named this week one sales. Now on cell, uh, before I proceed with the activity, um, I'd like to walk you through the contents of this uh, worksheet. So on cell A1, I have here uh, the label Ryan snack bar. And I can ask NVDA to report it again by pressing NVDA plus tab. Ryan snack bar cell overflow in A1. And on A2, I have week one sales overflow in A2. Week one sales, which is also the name of this worksheet. And on A3, I have description crop A3. Description as the header for uh, column A. And on column B, quantity P3. Is quantity. And column C, unit price C3. Unit price. And on column D, total D3. Is total. I'm going to press the home key to go back to A3. Description crop A3. And under this, I have three items that I sell on my snack bar. So on cell A4, I have sandwich A4. Sandwich. Cell A5, I have cassava cake crop A5. Cassava cake. And finally, on cell A6, I have waffle A6. Waffle. And across each of these items, I have the, the quantity and the unit price. So the number of waffles sold for week one would be on cell B5. So I can press the right arrow key. 37 D6 quantity. So that would be 37 on week one. And for cassava cake would be 45 D5. 45, so I'm just pressing up arrow here. So 45 pieces of cassava cake were sold on week one. And for sandwich, we have 48 D4. 48. Now across this would be the unit price of each item. So one, uh, one sandwich costs 12 C4 unit price. 12 pesos. Now this is Phil Philippine pesos. And I'm going to press down arrow key for cassava cake. 10 C5. So that's 10 pesos. And finally, on C5 would be the unit price for each, uh, for a piece of uh, waf waffle. And that would be 15 C6. 15 pesos. I'm going to go back to cell A1 by pressing Control plus Home. Right, it's not overflowing A1. For my first activity, I'd like to discuss and illustrate the concept of cell reference. Now, firstly, cell reference is uh, simply the, uh, the task of displaying, redisplaying the content of the cell that is being referred. So to reference a cell, we just need to create a formula that would reflect the location of that cell. So to illustrate that, I'll go to cell D1 by pressing right arrow key. D1, C1, D1. And here I'd like to uh, reference cell A1 and redisplay the content of that cell. So to do that, I simply uh, type equal sign and also type A1. Edit. A. One. And now I'm going to press enter. A one. We want sales table. D two. To go back to D one, I can simply press the up arrow key. Ryan snack bar has formula overflow in D one. So NVDA reported Ryan snack bar has formula D one. So what Excel did was to display the content of cell A one by uh, performing 
the formula that I just created which is equals a1 now uh, self referencing can be very useful and powerful if it is combined with some basic operations such as plus minus uh, multiplication and also division uh, signs now to illustrate that I'll go to the column on total and that's on column D uh, yeah so just need to press the down arrow D2. Total D3. D4. and here on D4 I'm going to use cell reference to get the total uh, amount of the sandwich sold on week one and I can do that by typing a formula that will multiply cell B uh, cell B4 and cell C4 so to do that I can press the equal sign or I can type equals B4 times C4 that means quantity times the unit price Edit. D. Four. D. Four. Start. C. Four. And now I'm going to press enter. C. Four. We want sales table. D. Five. And to check, I'll press that arrow key to check the total amount. Five hundred seventy-six at formula D. Four. So the total amount is five hundred seventy-six p pesos. And I'll do the same thing for uh, sell d5 and d6 d5 so here i'm going to type equals b5 times c5 edit d5 d5 start c5 and press enter c5 we want sales table d6 and on d6 i'm going to type equals b6 times d6 edit d6 d6 start c6 and press C6, enter. We want sales table, D7. To check the results of uh, uh, for the total amount of uh, cassava cake and waffle, I press the up arrow. 555 at formula D6. So this is for waffle, 555 pesos. And for cassava cake would be 450 at formula D5. 450. Next, uh, say what to check the profit that I will get from each item and say uh, half of the total amount is my goes to my profit so I can also create a formula using a cell reference now first I go back to uh, the row on sandwich and that is on the fourth row so I'll go to uh, D4 576 at formula D4 and I'll I'll write all the profit on uh, on column E so I'll press right arrow D4. so here I'm going to uh, input a formula so for this case I'll get the half of the total amount so I'll type equals D4 divided by 2 so to do that, I can simply type equals D4 slash 2. Edit. D4. D4 slash 2. And press enter. 2. We want sales table. E5. To check, I'll press up. 288 at formula E4. So 288 pesos is my profit for sandwich. Now I'll do the same thing on uh, the succeeding cells. I mean on cassava cake and waffle e5. so here I'll type equals d5 slash 2 edit d5 d5 slash 2 and press enter we want sales table e6 here I'll type equals d6 slash 2 edit d6 d6 slash 2 and press enter d6 2 2 we want sales table e7 to check the profit that I will get from cassava cake and 
Waffle, I'll press up. 277.5 at formula E6. So for Waffle, it's 277.5.50 pesos. And for cassava cake, it would be 225 at formula E5. 225 pesos. Now for my next activity, I'll, uh, I'd like to get the sum of uh, or the grand total of my sales for week one and using the cell reference or the concept of cell reference I can create a formula in finding this sum but first I need to go to uh, cell D7 okay so to do that I'll press down arrow and left 277.5 at formula E6 E7 down arrow and left arrow D7 total so here I'm going to uh, write a formula but first I'd uh, like to tell you about the concept of the range or the cell range now the cell range now cell range depicts the uh, the beginning and the end of the cell or the end or the last cell that is uh, covered by the range and it is it, it usually covers a column or a row now in this case instead of writing equals of d4 plus d5 plus d6 I can simply use a function and a cell range so to do that I'll type equals sum open parenthesis d4 colon d6 now this is even useful if the cell range is a long uh, list of cells now in this case I only have three cells in the range I can even use the the plus sign here equals uh, d4 plus d5 plus d6 so I'll do that on d7 I'll type Edit. equals Eight. Four. d4 D4 plus, plus D5, D5 plus D7 D. Uh, no no that D6 Six. and I'll press enter D6 we want sales table D8 so what I did on D7 was to type equals D4 plus D5 plus D6 and I'm going to check the sum here by pressing up arrow 1581 has formula D7 NBDA reported 1581 or 1581 pesos now I'm going to uh, get the sum using the cell reference and using the cell range and I will do that on D7 D8 No, no, I mean D8 So here I'm going to type equal sum open parenthesis D4 colon D6 close parenthesis Edit S U M Sum left parent D4 D4 colon D D6 right parent now I'm going to press enter Sum, D4, D6. We and I'm going to check if I have the same result in D7 so press up arrow. D8. so it's the same thing what I had what I have on D7 is the same value on D8 so again what I did on D7 was to add uh, using the cell reference and what I did on cell A D8 was to add or to find the sum using the sum function now another way of finding a sum is to use the auto sum formula so I'll do that on column E for the profit and I'll use the auto sum formula I press the right arrow to go to E7. E7. So here, to activate the auto sum formula, the hot key is Alt plus the equal sign. So I'm going to press Alt plus equals. Edit sum E4 colon E6. Now here, uh, a formula is written or is pre-written for us, and that is equal sum. E4 colon E6 
And now since I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to accept this, so I'll just need to press the enter key. We want sales table E8. Now to check, I'll press the up arrow. 790.5 at formula E7. So the result here is 790.5. And to check, I can also use uh, the, the the sum function. So I'll do that on uh, E8. E8. So I'll type equals sum E4 colon E6. Edit. S U M. Sum left parent. E4 E4 colon E6. E6 right parent. And press enter. We want sales table E9. To check, I'll press up arrow. 790.5 at formula E8. And I get the same result uh, even with the use of the sum function. So this confirms that uh, both work the sum function and the auto sum function in finding the sum. So with this, I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Until then, see you and God bless us all.